Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to um, uh, talk about the uh, Audi A4 cooling fan system. Now the Audi A4, um, and this is, by the way, this video, you can use it to uh, diagnose almost any uh, any issues uh, with uh, cooling fan on VW Audi uh, systems and this is the engine uh, for this particular car this one is a uh, V6 uh, now the Audi A4 and again many VW Audi systems uh, they employ a specific uh, relay uh, that's actually controlled by the ECM okay uh, and as you can see on screen, this is the actual car that we are going to uh, uh, talk about. Uh, the actual relay, which is actually a module, uh, it's found uh, um, on the uh, engine well. Uh, and you can actually find uh, it, it's, it's bolted in there to, uh, to, to the chassis. Uh, now, as we've said before, this particular uh, module, um, some, sometimes you call it a relay, but it's a relay module at the same time. It's controlled by the ECM, uh, and we're going to explain to you how this is done on VW Audi systems. In most cases, you can actually control this particular module using the using the scanner, as you can see on screen. Uh, and it's basically if you have that capability with your scanner, but you know you not always have that capability. This uh, on screen right now is a uh, is the actual module in there that controls the fan. They don't all look the same. Uh, this is another module. So basically, we're showing you different modules in here that, that you can uh, you'll be able to, you'll you'll find uh, with these uh, systems. Now, as you can see on screen, uh, this is this particular module and uh, 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 this particular diagram. This is the actual diagram for this car. Uh, pin number 24 on the ECM, uh, which is called the Motronic Engine Control Module. Uh, it's the same as the ECM. Uh, pin number 24 feeds pin number 3 and this is the actual control wire and this is important because this is the wire that you're going to use uh, to do your testing assuming that you don't have a scanner that has that capability now on screen uh, on this, in this in this particular close-up as you can see uh, we also have pins number 2 and 4 uh, and these are uh, the power feed for the relay now it is also important to understand that, um, well, you know, pin number one, of course, is ground. Um, that uh, this particular relay, as we you see it on, on in this particular diagram, the motor and the actual feed are together. Okay, so basically, when you, when you see that there's a motor in there, but that, that what it means is the fan control module and the motor. Okay, oftentimes you have two separate wires that go to the motor that actually feed the motor and it actually actuate the motor. But as you can see, it is uh, everything is controlled by the ECM through that particular single wire. And uh, this is a PWM control um, uh, wire. Now on early systems, uh, it was an on and off thing. Uh, but basically you still have that wire that will be on and off, but that was a long time ago. So basically what you see right now, it's a uh, PWM control single wire here on pin number three of the uh, um, the coolant uh, control module uh, and pin number 24 of the uh, Motronic unit, the ECM. Of course, the Motronic unit is, con is uh, co also connected to the engine coolant temperature sensor, which is the one that actually turns uh, the, the fan on and off. Uh, more or less so this is not an on and off thing now on, on, on all these new cars now in order to control this uh, basically what you have to do is go and tap into this particular wire the no, pin number three of the module or pin number which is the same as pin number 24 now we're going to do this with the PWM by directional controller assuming that you don't have a scan tool that actually has this capability uh, and oftentimes you don't uh, so basically you're going to use the PWM by directional controller that we have and uh, this is a unit that we make on our uh, you can find it on our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com uh, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com and you can order from there as well this is a very popular unit because you can use it to test almost anything PWM 
And going back to the particular diagram, you tap into pin into the red wire that you see here, in this particular case, pin number 24, that fits pin, feeds pin number 3. Uh, now, this is the important part to remember. You have to disconnect that pin from one or the other, okay? Sometimes you have to cut it in the middle, and then you have to splice it back again, okay, to be able to, con to control this particular unit. Sometimes, not always, okay? So try without, without disconnecting it or without cutting it, and you have to go, of course, and tap into the, uh, cool, into the coolant module side, not on the ECM side, and then uh, once you do that, then you'll be able to control. If you try to do it by messing around with the ECM, it's not gonna do it because uh, the new uh, uh, ECM, the new uh, Motronic units, they're smart enough to know that you're messing around with the, with the, uh, with the coolant temperature sensor. So we, we're not trying to fool the ECM, we're trying to fool the, uh, the control module. And of course, you can tap into this particular one, to the red wire with, a, with an oscilloscope to be able to, uh, to know if you are getting an output uh, from the PWM uh, a PWM output from the ECM. Oftentimes, that's not the problem. Uh, nine times out of ten is the actual module that goes bad because it's the one connected to the motor. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, basically what you have to do. Uh, either use our unit or use the scanner to be able to uh, understand or to trigger, to uh, command uh, the, the module to turn on and off. Uh, and basically what you do is you have to either, either cut the ECM uh, the, 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 the wire that goes from pin number 2 into phone number 3, either cut it or don't cut it, depending on, uh, on the system that you have. Uh, sometimes you have to cut it and sometimes you don't because the wire is grounded when no signal is outputted. And if you, if you don't cut it, if you cut it, then it's not going to work. Uh, but basically, you just have to try one or the other. You're not going to mess anything by doing this because the, the, PW, the PWM unit that we have is actually protected and so is every, everybody else, you know, as far as I do. And it doesn't really output a very strong signal. This is only a control signal that you use to control the modules. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training, on YouTube. Uh, and um, uh, subscribe to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Again, that's www.autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. So try to, because we are always uh, giving out free stuff, you know, and uh, you're definitely going to benefit from being uh, on, our, um, on our, our mailing list, you know. So anyhow, so, and that's pretty much uh, all there is to it for this particular car. And uh, we'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge. Learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.